Hey guys, this is Pete from MyJewelryBench.com. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a two-part video using Blender to design some jewelry. And what I wanna do today is focus on a pearl ring. So pearls typically round, and we're gonna make a single pearl ring with two small diamonds on the side. It's gonna be a very simple little piece. The first thing we gotta do in part one is to create a pearl. To create a pearl, first thing we gotta do is get ourselves a pearl material. So I'm gonna open up uh, my web browser. And in my web browser, I'm gonna go to Google and I'm gonna type in pearl texture. And this should bring up some pearl textures and I'm gonna, because you're not supposed to use these for commercial use, we're not going to. I'm gonna go to tools menu. I'm going to select images tools, label for reuse. And let's see what we can find in a pearl material. Hopefully we find something. It's always nice to find something that we can use. Okay, I'm not finding anything here. White. White texture floor wall. Uh, let's see, would that work as a pearl material? It's not too bad. <clears throat> you can find some other pearl materials if you want, but since this one's labeled for reuse, we're gonna, we're gonna use that. So I'm gonna save image as, and I'm gonna save it to my desktop. And we're gonna call this desktop, and I'm gonna just say pearl material. JPG. Okay, so now I've got <clears throat> an image on my desktop that's called Pearl Material. That's all we need. I'm going to close up my browser. And first thing you got to do is you have to create a sphere. So to do that, we're going to hit Shift A, and then we're going to go down to UV Sphere. Okay, so now over on the left, you see we have the UV sphere properties. I'm gonna expand this up a little bit. I'm gonna make this a little smoother and I'm going to bring this up to about 64 or so. And under rings, I'm gonna add in about, no, let's go to 40. Okay, so now we've made a UV sphere and it's pretty smooth. What I wanna do now is apply that material to it. To apply the material to it, we actually have to open a nodes editor and make a material, and then we can save this object. So I'm going to shoot this up a little bit. You can see down here we're on the timeline in Blender. The timeline is used for like uh, video editing or animations. We're going to come down to this little icon here and select that and come up to node editor right in the middle. And this will allow us to add some nodes to apply to our sphere. And what I want to do first is, control Z, what you want to do is select the materials button under the properties, the object properties, and come down here to the materials and then select new. And you can see it'll just say material, and I'm gonna rename this, if I can rename it, I'm gonna turn off PVR. And we'll call this Pearl. Okay. Okay, so here is, yeah, let me move this up, yeah, move up, there we go. Here's our material output. We're gonna delete this by pressing the delete key. So here's our material output node, and we're gonna leave that just there for now. The next thing we're gonna do is add a diffused BSGF. So come over to, um, let's see here, where is it? Shaders, diffused BSDF, and I'm going to put that right next to here. There's two more objects to add. The next one we're going to do is the image texture, and the reason we want to do that is because we want to apply our image that we just downloaded. So I'm going to come over to image texture right here, 
and I'm going to put that right there. And the last one we're going to add in is a texture coordinate system. And this, what we'll do with this is basically it allows us to move the texture around the object should we have to make any changes to it. There it is, texture coordinate. So we'll add that right here. Okay, so here's the four nodes that we're gonna be using to apply to our Perl image. What we wanna do first is to get our image in the image texture box. So I'm gonna open, go to my desktop and find that little Perl material somewhere around here, right here. And I'm gonna open that up and I'm going to connect that to the color input of the diffuse BSD and then we'll add this to surface. So we're going to connect the diffused to the material output and I'm going to just show you here under rendered kind of what we're working with right now. Now if that doesn't look good then we can go to our generated vector and we can connect this right to here and that'll allow us to make some more changes. But you can see as a pearl, this looks a whole lot better now. Not quite as bright as I'd like. Um, I'd like a little whiter than this and then we can make it a little rougher if we wanna make it a little rough by changing the depth of the roughness. And we can also apply color, all these little changes, but we don't really have to worry about that right now. What I'm working with mostly is just to give you kind of a pearl image. Now, any pearl image that you grab, whether you want to use one that you create or whatever, you just have to follow these simple node steps. <clears throat> so remember, you're going to add the material output, and that's pretty much done by creating a new output for your object. Then you're going to add the diffused BSDF, with the image texture attached to the color node. And then the texture coordinator kind of makes this look a little bit more like a pearl. So that's how we do that. Now I want to save this pearl. Basically to save the pearl, what you're going to do is you're going to go to file, save as, and I'll call this uh, blender pearl one, and I'll just save it onto my desktop. And then we'll hit save as blender file. Now you've saved that Perl image to your desktop. You can append that to any, any of the uh, uh, forms that you're using. Any of the, of the, when you're designing a piece of jewelry, you can bring that in and do whatever you want. Now you notice I didn't create any holes in this Perl, but uh, it works out pretty good. Just to give you an idea of how nice this looks, we're gonna go back into the modeling mode. I'll go back to solid. I'm gonna close up the node editor. I'm gonna hit shift A again. We're gonna add a mesh plane. And I'm going to bring that down, size it up, <clears throat> and let's give this a new material. We'll select PBR materials. You should already have those installed. If not, go back and look in the videos on how to do that. And let's, uh, let's grab a nice metallic. Uh, we'll grab, uh, how about we grab titanium, apply that. And if I go back here and look, We'll select rendered, oops, view, or let's go a little bigger. Let's select rendered so you can kind of see what it's going to look like as a full rendering. Not too shabby, huh? Now you can change the nodes to give you the render of this. Let's make this a little smaller. the render option. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Okay guys, you can see our rendering is done. I sped that up because I was getting a little bored watching the video and I'm sure you would be too. If you look closely, you can see this is a copyrighted image and there are the copyright images or the copyright uh, textures on the image. So I encourage you to go get a, uh, an image or a texture of a pearl that you can use without copyright infringement. <clears throat> but I did want to show you what it would look like. 
Let's close this up. Now I'm going to exit out of my camera. I'm going to save this again. And it's going to save it again as uh, Blender Pro 1.blend. And we're going to go on to stage two. So I hope you like this part and uh, hope you found this very useful. You can do this with just about any material. So if you wanted to make, uh, you know, you know a, a black pearl, a white pearl, any, any rounds, the stone that you want, just find a, a texture that matches and follow these steps with the node editor. And if you need to, what I would suggest is pausing the video and writing these four nodes down and showing how they're connected so that you see basically how I apply a texture to a piece of jewelry so that we're using something that looks real. That way when I present it to my customer, they kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like in the end. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. The thumbs ups and subscriptions really help me as I uh, get more viewership as I get more likes. If you want to support our page, just follow the link below to our website, www.myjewelrybench.com, where you could help support this channel if you like. It is a viewer-supported channel. I don't make any money from sponsorships. So if you uh, want to help keep these going, I'd appreciate it. Thanks and have a good day. And look out for part number two, which should be coming very, very, very shortly, if not right after this video. And part two is going to cover making a pearl ring. Thanks. Bye-bye.